Okay guys, I just want to make this quick video because I just got the uh, true wireless stereo working. So I have the Bluetooth speaker and an amplifier. Uh, they both have the CSRA64215. Uh, just been modified so I've been soldering onto this board. Uh, this board originally did not, did not have that Bluetooth chip. Um, anyway, so if we go over to the computer, uh, basically the things that I found is we need these three to be checked out. I tried not to use the device ID, but it didn't seem to want to find it. And use the CSR period service UID. I guess we can make or you can make your own, but I tried that, but it didn't want to work. But that might also be because I had this one ticked off. Anyway, these three has to be has to be taken on. And also Oh, let's see if we go down to true wireless stereo and we can see I've chosen permanent uh, you have a couple of options but this basically means that if when you connected it and you turn the device on and off they will connect uh, back together uh, or you can just have like temporary and stuff I can send you the PDF and you can read up on it uh, but that's basically it and in the user event this is basically what I've done uh, just one button and it just changes that in the beginning you have it connected so this will be the one that you first connect to and stream to um, and the second one will just be the one that's basically not uh, connected to anything so this will have one button um, you could also just do a double double push double tap on one button and it will go directly to peer session inquire but anyway this is the thing that I got going um, I got it connected to the little Bluetooth speaker right now. So if I press play, just scan to see. Okay, so that's one of them. So the way that it works is, of course, this one is connected. This one is disconnected, but is browsing for. Uh, a unit, I don't know if you can see by the light. So what you can just basically gonna do is you first gonna connect the one that's gonna the master. So it's the master, and then we'll do the other one. So just two different type of noise of sound. So they should connect automatically. First time it actually was real quick, but oh, there we go. So now. Anyway, Jeez. anyway, so they're but working. And of course, they're connected the way uh, it's all customizable, but this one will also control like the button events. Should at least. Hmm, that's strange. Um, anyway, it works on the, on the phone so that you can control. Let's see if it works on this one. Yeah, well, it might be the computer because Spotify is running on the browser. But it works on the phone so you can basically use the button events and it will control both of them. And if you want to go out of it, the way it's set up right now is just, you know, you just hold the button in for a couple seconds. And to disconnect and continue playing on the master. And that's it, guys. We got it working.